beautifully. It's quarter to ten. Yeah, it's hot and sunny. Again. <laughs> There's a couple up behind uh, using the trailer as a seat while they're sat there waiting for the bus. Uh huh. Status quo. Groundhog day. But very warm. Bear went tearing off down here, so we'll be going down to the beach then. Just make it through here right now with the tide. Just. You're in the mood, aren't you, Bear? It is a bit warm, I must confess. Right, let me find a rock to perch on. They're all pretty wet, actually. Oh, we are perched. I'm just trying to shoot behind me there. Right. We have a prescription to collect. For the first time that they've got it right this time. Uh, I only ordered it a little while ago and they've uh, just text messaged me. I, I, and deliberately turn the phone on just to check and it is uh, it is down there waiting it remains to be seen whether or not they took notice of my comment and whether or not it is the full prescription or just part of it I'll stop waffling and get the ball out and ball out Okay, we're doing some of that. suddenly appeared at high speed I see no derricks so I presume they're out doing a trial of some sort Circuits. <laughs> I've got a camera perched on a rock here, where the one I was sat on actually, and stood up trying to do this. And bent double. It's hurting my back. I think enough with that because they are going in circles after all. But uh, yeah, different sort of shots right down at sea level like this. Sadly, the rock was a little bit lower than my eye level. It was better to my eye. But it, I wouldn't have been able to get the shot holding the camera. I had to put it down. You want to have a go, Bear? No, nope. okay, suits me. Actually, I think the trawler might be done now.
Do that all day. I like uh, <laughs> I like getting the back rings in. That's what it's all about. The back rings. Nice thing. Uh, wrong or off, huh? Oh, whichever. You're right, bro. I think we'll do one more. We'll get out of here. Mate. Fishing. We can do fishing. I'm quick, just there. We caught one. There's a small handful in there. Actually, going in that way. Just there. Ah, we caught a couple of fish this morning. Nice one. There's a whole bunch down here. Spread out, but there's the more you look, the more you see. There you go. Fucking Shangri La, isn't it? You running it off, Beryl? <laughs> Why are you acting like that? You're not case. Are you cold? <laughs> yeah, Loon, we just lost the chair, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that's still there. Yeah, all right, Beryl, all right. Yeah, nutter. <laughs> I don't know what you think you're doing, Beryl. Sounded helicopterish. There was a wildcat went over the house first thing. Didn't see it, heard it for sure. And I was in front of the computer, so it fired up flight radar 24. It was a wildcat. Yeah, I don't know what I'm hearing there. Or <laughs> on chair number two, the uh, the grass situation here is even flipping worse. Can't even see the bright water look. Deep in the air. You're a hyper bit of ball. Okay. Bit of to her. Where's the bear? He's behind me. Yeah, we're briefly uh, sitting on the box. So, I heard comms earlier on from a uh, Belgian Navy ship, I forget the name, Labelia or so, I, I can't remember the name. But they were uh, in comms with somebody saying they were going to be diving the wreck. And if I can find them. There's a little dot on the horizon, that is the Belgian Navy ship diving the wreck. Right, there you go, that's your Belgian Navy ship. You can't even see it, can you? It's so far out there. I'm assuming that they're diving the Emstrom wreck, but uh, I'm not going to 
to spend half the day trying to find the, the marker boys. They're out there somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's what they're doing. They're doing diving operations. They were in comms with a I can't remember what boat it was. The, the boat was fishing the wreck and they were uh, sort of doing deconfliction. And the boat that was fishing um, volunteered to uh, move off and uh, fish a different wreck. So uh, the Belgian Navy were happy about that and very thankful. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's go back to the chair. <laughs> launched, I missed it. Oh well. And now I've missed the ferry going past the Belgian ship here. It's one of those days, isn't it? And here's the Belgian ship. We've uh, swapped chairs, the guy that was sat here moved, so we've come back to the more usual chair. Okay, uh, uh, now I'm sat in the appropriate place that I am more familiar with. I can say that that is not the Emstrom wreck. There must be another one out there. Shows what I know. That explains why I was feeling that it was so flipping far away. So small and far away, it didn't seem quite right to me. That was why I was rechecking. Uh, so that's where they are. And if I come right the way across over here, keep going, keep going, keep going, even more so. There is the marker boy for the Amstrom wreck and the other one. So that's the Amstrom wreck right there. A lot closer. So yeah, they're they're on a whole different wreck out there. So yeah, you can't rely on a word I say, can you, Bear? They're on the move. Yeah, we're going to make a move. Well, it's not a very quick shot of how busy that one is. A certain age group demographic going on there at this time of the week. Uh, yeah, we're going down to the chemist to make sure we get there before the flipping person goes out to lunch like we keep on encountering.